Welcome sa siptain.com. This video, tutuloy natin yung ating series about polynomial functions. And in this video, ay uh, pag-aaralan natin kung paano ba kukunin yung integral zeros ng polynomial functions. Now, um, uh, bago natin sagutin yung question sa itaas, uh, i-recall nga natin kung paano natin kinukuha yung uh, integral zeros ng isang cubic na kasi ito, no? cubic function, ano? ng isang uh, quadratic function. For example, x squared uh, plus 4x plus 3. No? Okay? So, pag kinuha natin yung integral zeros nito or simply zeros, di ba, uh, essentially, we are just factoring. no We want to factor and equate it to zero, di ba? Uh, by the way, pag sinabi natin zeros, di ba kinukuha din natin yung roots? Pareho lang. So, So, ginagawa natin, pag kinukuha natin yung roots, is to find the x, the, um, is to equate it to 0, di ba? So, x squared plus 4x plus 3 is equal to 0. So, ang ginagawa natin is to, I think, ang pinakauna natin ginagawa is to find the factor, or divisors, factors, or divisors of 3. So, ang 3 is just 1 times 3, or negative 1 times Negative 3, di ba? So, magiging 3 yan. Kasi ang, la ang last part na yan, yan, yung product, tapos yung pangalawang part, yung middle is the sum, di ba? So, obvious na alin ba yung sum nila ay 4? No? Doon sa mga factors. 1 plus 3 is 4, negative 1 plus negative 3 is negative 4. So, 1 plus 1 times 3, parang positive, no? So, magiging ang factor niya is magiging x plus 1, tsaka x plus 3. No? Remember, yung positive dyan, ibig sabihin natin yung, sign, yung operation dito, no? magbabaliktad yan pag in-equate natin sa 0. So here, we have x equals negative 1 pag in-equate natin sa 0. x plus 1 is equal to 0, which means that x equals negative 1, di ba? Tapos x plus 3 equals 0, which means that x is equal to negative 3. Meaning, negative 1 and negative 3 are zeros. No? Zeros of g of x. Bakit sa 0? Kasi, zeros ng g of x. Kasi pag sinubstitute natin yung negative 1 at negative 3 dito sa g of x, mangyayari magiging 0 siya. No? Kaya tanawag siya na zeros of the function. function no? So, g of negative 1 is actually negative 1 squared, no? Substitute, plus 4 times negative 1. Plus 3, no? Which is equal to 0 yan. So, 1 minus 4 is negative 3 plus 3 is 0. Also, g of negative 3 is equal to negative 3 squared plus uh, 4 times negative 3 plus 3, which is equal to 0 yan, syempre. So, 9 minus 12 is negative 3 plus 3, 0. Kaya siya tinatawag na zeros of the function because it makes the value of the function 0. It makes g of x 0. Now, balikan natin, no? Paano natin kinuha itong, uh, paano natin nag paano tayo nag-factor at nakuha natin yung zeros? We actually looked for the factors. The first step is to actually look for the factors of 3. No? Or the divisors of, Z, of 3. No? So, yan yung ating, uh, ang tawag natin dyan is 2. Uh, kaya natin ginagawa yan because of tinatawag natin na the integral 0 theorem. No? So, ano ba integral 0 theorem? Theorem. Theorem. So, ang integral zeros theorem, sabi niya, if, if an integer is a zero of a given integral polynomial, if a, if an integer is a zero of a given integral polynomial,
then it is a divisor of the constant term of the polynomial. Then it is a divisor of the constant term of the polynomial. Polynomial. No? Uh, ang ibig sabihin pala ng integral polynomial, ang ibig sabihin ng integral polynomial. Ang integral polynomial, to, 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 to. Integral polynomial. Ibig sabihin nito ay, yung polynomials whose coefficients are integers. Polynomials. Whose coefficients are integers. No? So, kanina, dun sa example natin, yung f of x equals, uh, sorry, g of x g of x is equal to ano yun? x squared plus 4x plus 3. No. First, you have to check if it is an integral polynomial. Yes, it is because all of its coefficients are uh, integers. No? 1 dito, 4 dito, 3 dito. Lahat yan integers. Secondly, uh, you have to check the divisors no? of the constant term. As in, alin ba yung constant term? Di ba yung constant term? is a term, yan, yung uh, walang x, di ba yun yung constant term natin. So you have to check the divisors, lahat ng divisors, and then test if it is the zero of the polynomial. So kanina, ang, pinakag ang madaling gawin natin is to uh, check the divisors of 3. This is 1, positive and negative 1, saka positive and negative 3, and substitute 1 by 1 and check if it is this, uh, if it's a zero of a polynomial. So, na-check na natin, actually, we, we found out a negative 1 and negative 3 are zeros of uh, x squared plus 4x plus 3. No? Of course, yung ginawa natin kanina, we can factor, uh, we can factor this out, no? But, yung may mga polynomials tayo kagaya nito, mahirap na siya i-factor, matatagalan ka. So, all you have to do is to use the integral zero theorem to to um, check if uh, the divisors are actually factors of this uh, polynomial. And again, uh, hindi lahat ng integral polynomial ay integers na yung factors niya. Di ba? Ibig sabihin, hindi siya, may mga polynomials na hindi talaga factorable. Di ba? Kaya gumagamit tayo ng quadratic formula. No? For example, uh, h of x. No? For example, h of x equals x squared plus x plus 1. Yan, hindi yan, hindi yan, hindi yan factorable, no? Kasi yung, yung positive 1, positive and negative 1 lang ang, ano niyan, ang divisors niyan. And you can check, no? That uh, this cannot be uh, factored. Gagamitan natin yan ng, ng quadratic formula at malamang radical. Magkakaroon ng radical sa yung ating... Um, Sagot, no? So, you just you just check. Okay, so, this is it for the for this video. Ang gagawin natin, sasagutin natin to, no? Doon sa susunod na video kasi masyado na itong mahaba. Uh, we will answer this in the next video na yung ating, uh, we will apply the integral zero theorem, no? So, maraming salamat. See you in the next tutorial.